All right, today I'm here at Duinrel in the Netherlands. I've never been to this park. I'm really curious. Uh, this guy here, Sharsia, is also here with me. He has been here. Yes. Yes, yes. He uh, tells me that there is a really nice uh, family coaster here, uh, Dragonfly. I'm, I'm really curious, so let's check it out. All right, so we're here in the park. Uh, first impression, it's a bit of a weird setup, actually. You're, 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 you're walking through some parking lots here. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> Very strange. But anyway, uh, we're going to look for our first ride. I'm not sure what the first ride will be. Uh, we, we'll have to see. <laughs> we, will, we will watch the... Uh, the the not off by coasters. I don't know the English name. Ah, uh, the Rodelbahn. Yeah, yeah, the, the Bob's. Bob's. Yeah, we something will first, like that. Uh, go and see if those are open. Yeah, if those are open, that would be great. Because, but it's yeah. raining. But and apparently with with this rain, yeah, they easily close those. Yeah, very easy. But uh, we'll have to see. Fingers crossed. Right, and here we entered new area here. Uh, this is not new. This, this ah, this. Okay. <laughs> I thought. The, okay, okay. This is new. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is new Amsterdam. Yeah. It's an arcade hall. I think the arcade hall was already here. No. It was normally was there. I think. Uh, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, there's an arcade hall here. There's a Ferris wheel here, and I thought there was also like. Uh, a ride with some, um, what's it called? Antique and cars. Yeah, looks nicely done. Not too uh, extensively themed, but anyway. All right, so this is the back side of the Amsterdam area with the antique cars, right? It's barely themed. Yeah, the, in the Efteling, it's a bit nicer, but anyway. Okay, so I have to admit that the, the theming here of this building, it, it, it's nicely done. This bus here, nicely done also. But this right here seems so cheaply done. But anyway, we'll have to check it out. Okay, why am I even doing this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's really nothing to see here. The only thing you can see here are traffic signs. What kind of theming is this? Seriously. Anyway, it's our first ride. Let's just enjoy it. <laughs> So that was uh, the uh, antique uh, old-timer car kind of stuff. I'm not sure what the name is. It's a bit, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just for kids, it's nice, but the theming is, is non-existent. It looks a bit cheap. Anyway, first ride done. Let's get to something more interesting, maybe. I guess it will be the Rodelbahn here. So. Let's let's hope indeed it will be like this the one. Operator said normally it should be operating. Normally indeed it should be operating. So uh, fingers crossed. And uh, otherwise you will see another ride next. <laughs> it's closed. Boo! Now this park is mostly famous actually for the Tiki Bot here, which is the water park. But I'm not doing that today. I'm just here for the ride. Here are most of the rides situated, it seems. Uh, here on the right we have Wild Wings, yeah, behind the bushes of course, uh, which is a Skyfly from Gerstlauer. 
There is also a mat mill there, which is a pendulum swing ride. The same as the one in Parque de Atraciones de Madrid and Movie Park. Here we have a water ride. And there we have the first roller coaster of the day, probably. And that is Dragonfly, the Gerstlauer family coaster. So let's check it out. Okay, I have to admit this ride here, Dragonfly, it looks bigger in real life than, than, than when I saw it on pictures, actually. Because first I thought it was. A f yeah, a small kiddie coaster, but apparently I was wrong. It's quite a big coaster actually, so I'm really, really, really curious how this one will be. And here's the entrance to Dragonfly. Let's check this out. Our first coaster here in Duindrel. Really, really hyped for this one. This is a really great uh, family uh, coaster from Gerstlauer Dragonfly here. Really enjoyed it. It's a lot bigger than I expected. The, the, the first drop was also really nice. So I'm really surprised by this. I did not expect uh, this. Okay, next up here, Falcon, the Eurofighter, Gerstlauer. It's the same model actually as Predator and Rage, a Predator in, in uh, IMG World of Adventure in Dubai. If you haven't seen that video, check it out here. Uh, but uh, it's the same model as, as those ones. The, yeah, Predator had one jerky moment. I was told that this one has kind of the same, so I guess it's uh, just Gerstlauer doing some uh, weird wow. stuff with this model. But anyway, Let's check this one out. Thank you. 
All right, so uh, Falcon here, really great uh, Eurofighter. It's, it's a small one. It's a, yeah, the same model as Predator, which I did in, in, in Dubai. But this one is actually better than the one in Dubai. It's, it's a lot smoother. It doesn't have that jerky moment uh, which a Predator has uh, in that this uh, turn here. But anyway, it's, it's a smooth coaster. Really enjoyed it. It's my third Eurofighter so far. And uh, hopefully not the last one. All right, next one, Kikker Achtbaan, which is the, the yeah, frog uh, coaster in English. It's a Zierig Kitty coaster. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of Zierig coasters, but I'm not the target audience, of course. But it's a credit, so why not? Let's check it out. Alright, so we just did the Kikker Eichbaan, or the Frog Coaster in English. It's a very rough Zier uh, Tivoli coaster. Oh my god! I'm really not a fan of these rides. I'm not sure why so many parks have these rides. It's probably a very cheap one. But it's just, uh, it really sucks. It, uh, the trains are also very uncomfortable to sit in. Really don't like these rides. All right, since we're here and not many rides are here in this park, we're going to have a look at the uh, observation tower somewhere here on this hill. <laughs> I'm really dying here. <sighs> okay, I'm almost there. We have a nice view on the closed Roldalbaan. sure why it's closed because it's not raining but I guess they are just uh, lazy. lazy indeed <laughs> exactly <laughs> looks like a nice one but it's yeah not open and where is it ah there it is we're almost there and here it is it's a miracle nice view here I have to say, Dunwell is located in a very nice... Oh my god, the wind. Jesus Christ. <laughs> a lot of wind here. But as I was telling, Dunwell is located in a very nice environment here. There's a sea there. If you look closely, there's even a boat. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Not interesting. Oh, it is very, very windy here. But as you can see, there is the Rodelbahn closer today. There's Tiki, Tiki Bat, the water park. 
All right, so next up, Wild Wings here is the third Skyfly so far I'm doing. I did one in Toverland Pixels and one in Nigeloland in France. I'm really bad at these ones actually. I, I'm not sure how people are able to flip or make rolls on this thing. But let's see if this one is uh, easier. Okay, so this is by far the most easy Skyfly ride in the world. Or, yeah, not sure in the world, of course. I, I only did uh, three so far. But this one is a really, really easy one. I made, uh, what was it, 49? Yes. 49 rolls on this one. Oh my God! My, my last uh, record on, on Pixels in Toverland was maybe seven or nine. I'm not sure exactly, but this was crazy. I kept rolling and rolling and rolling. I still feel it a bit, uh, but it was a really, really nice one. Really. I, I have the true <laughs> record. Zero. Loser. All right, next one here is Mad Mill. I did a similar ride in Movie Park Germany yesterday. It's a pendulum swing ride. You also have one in Parque de Atracion de Madrid. Very forceful machines. Curious if this one will be the same. That was Mad Mill uh, pendulum swing ride thing here. Uh, I did the same one yesterday in a movie park Germany. This one is a little bit less intense, uh, but it, it's quite okay. This guy here was uh, yeah, not first time, ever. first time ever on this ride. Was it enjoyable? Yes. Yeah. But it's like a ride you do in smaller parks like here. It's not like a main ride. Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. It's just, it's yeah, it's, if, if there would be a long line, we wouldn't be uh, doing this ride <laughs> for sure. But it's, 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 yeah, nice to try out. All right, next one here, Splash is a spill water ride. It's very comparable. Yeah, as you can see, very comparable to uh, Niagara at Bellewaarde with the covered boats here. It's a water ride with covered boats. It's a bit stupid. <laughs> But anyway, uh, let's just try it out.
right, so this water ride, uh, we were in the covered one, so we, we thought we wouldn't get wet, but apparently we did get wet because from for some reason the water came from from the inside from i was almost wet again but for some reason the the, the water came inside of the boat from from underneath the, the cover it was a really strange but we were yeah my my ass is still it's still quite wet <laughs> anyway uh a fun water ride but not on a cold day as today and this one here so He's, he's even more soaked, yeah. <laughs> and that's with such covered boats, really strange. back at the park now they're uh, apparently building a new ride here which will open later this year it's kind of a uh, teacup style of ride I'm not sure exactly but they're still uh, building a thing on top of it I'm not sure what the word is and you also have this little water ride here where you're jumping off this uh, thing with a small boat dropping into the water I'm not going to do that today there's also a swinging boat here, also not willing to do that, I think. Fun for kids. So this is especially uh, an area for kids, as you can see, but not that interesting. Anyway, let's get back to uh, the other rides. So that was our day here in Duinrel in the Netherlands. It's a very small park, uh, not really that much rides, so we did a lot of re-rides, especially on Dragonfly, which is a very nice family coaster. Uh, Falcon we also did a few times, but not as much as Dragonfly. Um, in my opinion, yeah, like the, the park is it's, it's a clean park, the, the staff is friendly, but it just needs some more bigger rides to uh, make you come back a lot of times i i'm probably not going to return in the next few years uh, the only thing which was also a bit of a downside was uh, the the rodelbahn being closed and i this guy was really yeah. not happy about it no it's the second <laughs> time here. still closed second time still closed it's, it's yeah it's a bit uh, like shikra uh, in bush gardens <laughs> yeah, but i i know the feeling <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah, but anyway, it's it was an enjoyable park. It's it's uh, it's just like I said, strange to be inside of a, a camping. It's really weird. But anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.